Maggie hit that ball. And when he swung his bat, the crowd went wild because he knocked that ball a solid mile. Yeah, boy. Yes, yes, Jackie hit that ball. Satchel Page is mellow, so is Campanella. New come and dope it too. But it's a natural fact when Jackie comes to bat, the other team is through. Did you see Jackie Robinson hit that ball? Did he hit it? Yes, and that ain't all. He's so old. Yes, yes, Jackie's real gone. What's crack a lacking, everybody? That's uh, <clears throat> that was Count Bassey, uh, with um, I think it was the trainers and Count Bassey with uh, uh <clears throat> Jackie Robinson hit that ball. So uh, Jackie Robinson, of course, first uh, African American ball player, um, to play in the major leagues. Number forty-two is uh in nineteen ninety-seven. I think it was July. It was uh. Yeah, July, it was uh, retired for all teams. There were some people, like Mariano Rivera, uh, if you know a little thing, a little bit about baseball, Mariano Rivera, of course, was able to keep it grandfathered. Uh, another guy, Mo Vaughn, uh, for Boston, was 42. He was able to get it grandfathered. And Butch Husky uh, was, an, was probably the other more famous guy that was... And I think that's it. I mean, there was there's other players, but I think those were the three bigger uh, bigger names um, that were that had 42 at the time, and they were allowed to keep it. Okay, so we have basically here uh, we have the Garrett Anderson, um, Derek Cheater, uh, Randy Johnson kind of show. Uh, we have uh, we have this Willie Adams in Oakland at age 24 coming out of nowhere and he has he's eight and one and he is basically uh, getting Oakland here let's see you know West he, he is making Oakland actually be almost a 500 team and Oakland wasn't supposed to be that good I mean they, they traded away Ricky Henderson to the freaking Phillies I don't know why they did that but I mean, they did trade Ricky Henderson in 97. Um, oh, no, I think Ricky Henderson was actually in Toronto. And then he came back to Oakland. Or maybe something like that. Anyways, um, <clears throat> but I don't, yeah, I think I think actually they tr they may have traded Ricky Henderson back to the Yankees. Or, or no, he went to the Padres. Yeah, this was at the end of Ricky's career. So he went to the San Diego Padres, I believe. This is where Ricky was just playing... Uh, one year for one team. So I think San Diego, then he went to the Mets. And in the Mets, that's where he got that reputation for just basically hanging out in the uh, clubhouse and not really caring. Um, uh, because, uh, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't buy that Ricky Henderson was just a guy that was like, yeah, I'm just going to hang out and I don't care about baseball anymore. After I beat all my records, I think he just he wanted to play baseball forever. Anyways, uh, so we got that and plus Randy Johnson, the big unit here. Uh, but the big unit's got some uh, got a nice twenty year old rookie uh, coming up behind him, and that's Roy Holiday. And we also got this guy that, uh, if you remember, in the pre, uh, pre uh, the the preseason predictions. This uh, Murasaka was uh, this Murasaka was touted to be like a, like one of the best pitchers in the league. So uh, I don't know anything about him. He was just a, he was a pitcher. He kind of talented. He got injured, but he wasn't really like a top prospect or anything. So you got Wetland here because Mariano Rivera is out for a year and a half. You got Percival, uh, you got Todd Jones, who's 29. He's coming into his own. So it's going to be basically Percival and Todd Jones. Um, and 
that are going to be like the the closures of the future wetland may go somewhere for you know mariano Vera might not might not be good anymore when he comes back um and we got Derek Jeter, who was actually being, who was actually better than Alex Rodriguez at this point in time. Uh, and uh, OPS JD Drew is having a phenomenal year. But really, it's uh, as you can see from the home runs, it's Bagwell, Gonzalez, Alex Rodriguez. They got 26, 26, 25. Not anything major. Um, we got Houston and Los Angeles battling it out with the Mariners, underachieving. They were supposed to win the West. And then you got Kansas City that, uh, because of Apier and Gubasa, they're two, they're two uh, mainstays for pitching, and I think they have a third pitcher here that's doing really well too. Uh, Apier and Gubasa uh, are doing really well, and yeah, they got David Weathers, who's 27 years old, uh, was with Washington two years ago. He must have got injured or something. I don't know. But he was injured two years ago, and now he's back, and he's having a pretty good year. Uh, Erzen Housing um, came over from Hawaii. Didn't even play for Hawaii, I don't think. You know, he, uh, yeah, he was traded, to, claimed off waivers by Hawaii with New York on 1127, but then he got traded in, okay. That's the AI, and they're great, uh, they're great waiver claiming, uh, but this Corey Bailey, uh, who I don't recall. I know Mike Remlinger. He, he was a very good uh, left-handed. Uh, I think he was a submariner. He was very good. Uh, Mike Williams was a decent reliever, if I recall correctly. Uh, Glendon Rush was a starting pitcher, So, but it looks like he is just a youngster, and he's going to be in the bullpen uh, in until he develops a little, 11.32, so he's been mop-up duty. But this Corey Bailey's doing a hell of a job with the 1.17 ERA and five saves. So that's where they're they're coming from. They have a pretty good pitching staff, and they don't have... I mean, Adrian Beltre is just... Oh, Hideki Matsui. They called up the youngster, Hideki Matsui. Now... Uh, Yankee fans would know that Hideki Matsui, Godzilla, as he, his nickname, of course, uh, came around when he was 27. But here he came, here he's he's uh, he entered the draft at an early age, I think 21. So instead of being like 27, 28 when he made his debut, we'll see how uh, Hideki um, can actually. Um, I think Hideki could probably hit 400 home runs. He was very good when he was with the Yankees. Uh, he's an all-around good player. Good defense. Good, you know, he's not phenomenal, but good defense. Hits well. Uh, hits some. Uh, hits a good number of home runs. So they got uh, Matsui here, and they of course they got Adrian Beltre as well, who is probably going to be the best. Oh my God, his potential is only two and a half stars. You got to be kidding me. Well, he's. I don't know. That's weird. That's weird. Uh, that's got to be wrong. Um, but, oh, it's got their little flags up there, too. It's the Dominican, and you can see the flag in the top right-hand corner. It's Japan. Uh, all right, so they got Goodwin. Goodwin's doing okay. Not great. I mean, only 320. For a leadoff hitter, uh, let's see, Goodwin is, he's got 11 stolen bases, 7 caught stealing. That is not good either. But, I mean, they're hanging in there. And that's weird because they got Mendy Lopez, probably the worst first baseman in the league. How the hell are they? It's got to be their pitching, right? It's got to be their pitching. I mean, Michael Tucker's not doing 293 with 13 home runs. I mean, yeah, not bad, but mm, I don't know. But they're above 500. That's weird. So Kansas City's hanging in there. Um, so yeah. So good good job for that. Uh, the NL. And the NL is the Chipper Jones show. Um, I don't know what the hell's going on, but Chipper Jones is batting 404. He's hitting 43 home runs with Sosa next to with 31 for crying out loud. And of course Sosa is a phenomenon because he's just he's ahead of Brad Fulmer with 22. 
what a huge gap between number one and number two, and then number two and number three. And Chipper Joe's just going to run away with everything. I mean, 7.1 war. He's having he's having one of those freaking year, those years that, uh, I don't know, you just, like a Barry Bonds. You, he's the Barry Bonds, I guess. He's going to be our Barry Bonds. Um, Todd Green, which is weird, or Tommy Green, uh, with his great nickname, T the Green. Tommy T the Green Green is, for some odd reason, the best pitcher in the league. I don't know how that happened, but <laughs> who knows? Uh, Greg Maddox, of course, is hurt. He's going to be hurt for uh, – he's gone this year. Greg Maddox is gone this year, so no – so no Cy Young at all for Greg. Um, and he'll be gone half the year next year because he's got like a blown arm. Um, so that's that's debilitating. And Greg Maddox may not come back to be Greg Maddox. Um, just like Roger Clemens is hurt. And Roger Clemens is actually, he looks like he stinks. So that's, that's kind of harsh. Uh, a lot of the players that have been Hall of Famers and great may not. But Pedro Martinez looks like he's coming aboard. He looks like he might be at least 80% of what Pedro Martinez is. But Pete Skurik has been the pitcher, the most consistent pitcher for the last three years. When it comes to wins, when it comes to ERA, when it comes to strikeouts, Pete Skurik is the freaking dude. Uh, so um, Ashby, has he been consistent? Mm, yeah. Yeah, Andy Ashby, too. So we got Andy Ashby, we got Skurik, uh, Bennis. Bennis has not been. Um, not really, so Bennis hasn't been. And, of course, Pedro hasn't because he's been injured the last two years. But he's healthy now. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, and Tom Glavin. That's right, Tom Glavin's been consistent as well. So it's been, and Danny Neagle. That's right, Danny Neagle. So, the, so we got the best... With Greg Maddox out of the picture, um, yeah, he's torn torn UCL, 12, 13 months, gone. That's that's horrible. And he's 31 years old, so he won't be back to form until he's 33. So who knows? I mean, he'll be a Hall of Famer. He's got to be a Hall of Famer, unless he just comes back at 33, he's horrible, and he gets cut at 34. He's He's got to be a Hall of Famer. I mean, he's got... I mean, look, he's got, he's got all these All Stars. He's got four Cy Youngs. Uh, he's got 182 wins. Oh, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, if he comes back, and he's like out of the league by two, the year 2000, he might. Yeah, he might not. He might not be a Hall of Famer. I don't know. He'll be a head scratcher. But yeah, so Pete Skurik. Uh, Andy Ashby, um, Tom Glavin, and Alan Bennis have been, or no, Neagle, Skurik, Glavin, and Ashby have been like the most consistent. They've been the top four pitchers with Greg Maddox for uh, since I started this league. Um, I mean, Randy Johnson, the other in, in the AL, I suppose. Um, and Langston. No, not Langston. Langston had a bad year last year. Uh, Hankin? Nope. Nope. Hankin's been up and down, too. So there really hasn't been any consistency when it comes to, to uh, the AL. But Alex Fernandez? Nope. He's kind of had, I mean, his ERA, but he's... Shane Reynolds, that's the guy. Shane Reynolds has been the dude uh, in the AL. But he's having a bad year this year. So have what may. Uh, take that for what it's worth. But Chipper Jones, I, I have no idea. Like Chipper Jones right now uh, is projected to have 83 effing home runs. 83 home runs, 173 RBIs, 92 walks. And this is from a man who I sat there and was worried that he would never amount to a damn thing because he got injured last year and and he missed uh, 50 games. 
And the year before that, he got injured uh, and missed half the season. But yet now, he's he's on steroids. I know it. I know he's on steroids. Um, but then again, we and then we got Kevin Young, who's been a very good surprise for me because Kevin Young was um, a decent player for Pittsburgh, uh, but he was a first baseman. I know he did play third base, but they moved him over to first base uh, because I think they got they had Aramis Aramis Ramirez. Um, who's, I think he's over with Texas now. In this playthrough, he's with Texas. But, um, yeah, so Kevin Young was the first baseman, and he really didn't really amount to much. Um, he just kind of, he just kind of like hit 30, and he just kind of faded. Yeah, which could happen here. It could happen here. But here he started off and he got his starting spot right away. And instead of 19, instead of when he's 29, so hey, you know what? Who knows? Who knows? I mean, Kevin Young has been he's he's played over 145 games. He's played like 90% of the games uh the last 2 years. Uh and he he's hitting over thirty home runs, and what's he projected to do this year? He's projected to hit uh, thirty five home runs, so and hit forty two doubles, and last and yeah, forty doubles, thirty eight, forty two. Good for him. I mean, he's very consistent. Uh, Sosa has been smacking the crap out of the ball ever since he came back. Fifty two home runs, and then this year he will have. Um, he will probably have 40-something. No, 60. It says 60 home runs. Hmm. Isn't that something? And then, of course, we got the secret weapon, Pablo Sanchez from Backyard Baseball. Love you, buddy. Love ya. Toronto. Eh, nothing really changed. Um, okay, so Baltimore. Baltimore is at 511 games back. Carlos Viagra goes from Cleveland to Baltimore. So Viagra was, uh, he went to the Mets, I think, around during this time. But no, he's going to the Orioles. Uh, and Greg Zahn is going to the Indians, which doesn't make any kind of effing sense. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. Look, at Cleveland got Charles Johnson from Portland. And they had Sandy Alomar. So they had a good, they had a, a good... One, two. Yeah. What the hell, dude? I don't get this. They got Charles Johnson. They got Sandy Alomar. So Charles... Oh. Charles Johnson's hitting 198. Okay. Maybe they're... Oh. Sam Horn. Look at you, Sam Horn. Oh. Oof. All right, so Jim Tomey's hitting 20 home runs. Uh, Lofton stealing 34 bases. I mean, they seem okay there. Um, yeah, that's tough. That is tough. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens to Charles Johnson. Yeah, I did not know that. Look at that. He hit 237, 282. Yeah. Ooh, that's why Portland traded him. Portland's doing a hell of a job, too, trading. My God. Um, all right, so that's why. So Cleveland needs a catcher now because they traded for one catcher. Um, who did they oh, oh, Who did they trade? Who did they trade for Charles Johnson? They traded... Nobody particularly. Uh, Herbert Perry, and Herbert Perry went to, was he a free agent? No, claimed on waivers. Fucking Christ. Oh, I'm sorry for my language, but that's just, none of that makes sense. You don't trade for somebody and then put them on waivers and lose them. Because it, do, it doesn't, you'd be fired as a GM. 
People would sit there and go, do you even know what the hell you're doing in this league? All right. So, all right. So, uh, win. Uh, so, Randy win. That's going to be tough. So, Randy win. Portland does not have its center fielder. Chipper Jones still only has 43 home runs. Okay. Uh, Glenn Murray's injury. Keep him. Uh, yeah, that's going to. That's really going to hurt Havana. This, this, he was like their only like all-around good hitter. And and good hitter and good fielder. He's probably the best all-around player. Okay, so the All-Star teams have been announced. And let's see who we got. Come on, open up. Thank you. Um... AL, all right. So Willie Adams, that was a no-brainer. Nine and one, one point nine seven ERA. Chuck Finley, uh, and Chuck Finley has been. Oh, he was injured last year, which is why LA didn't repeat. Technically, you could say. Um, Mark Clark, who has been getting progressively better every year. That's what I like to see. I like to see. I like to see some players just you see them get better. Uh, you, you see he had 227 innings pitched, 81 walks, 134 Ks, 3.96. Next year, 232 innings pitched, 80 walks. So his walks went down if you count that he pitched more innings. Um, so they went down a good a good portion, and his strikeouts went up a little bit. And now, with 141, he's only got 27 walks, and he's got 99 strikeouts, so he should have a much better year. And Halliday is just at the age of 20. is Jesus. Last year, at the age of 19, he had 17 freaking saves. And now, he went right into the starting rotation when Chris Carpenter went down with injury. And Juan Guzman was traded. And now he is going to be like the freaking starting pitcher for the next 10 years. Oof. Uh, Randy Johnson. Okay. Um, I think what that asterisk means he's got like, oh, injured. Okay. Uh, Garrett Anderson's injured three weeks. Oh, no. Come on, Garrett. Don't get... Don't get injured. Don't be like in real life and get injured all the time. And then all of a sudden you just fade out of oblivion. Uh, J.D. Drew, 71 games, 361, 19 homers. Uh, that makes me cry. I don't want him to be good. Uh, Bubber Trammell, okay. Tim Salmon is, okay, 576, 19 homers. Yeah, all right, Tim Salmon. Uh, Chuck Doblock, Palmero, Sal Fasano. Good God. Good job for Sal Fasano. Uh, Mike Stanley, which, and Jason Veritek. So Jason Veritek has been uh, getting uh, getting pretty decent here. 25 years old. So he's coming into his own, and hopefully it, that'll be good. So, um... Robin Ventura. Yeah, Preston Wilson. Okay, so Preston Wilson got traded by the Mets to go play for his stepfather and his uncle. Yes, same thing. Yeah, stepfather and um, over in Washington, Mookie Wilson. And now the NL. This is a no-brainer. Uh, Ashby, Bennis, Glavin, Tommy Green, of course. Chris Hammond, that's a, okay, so that's a surprise. Uh, Denny Neagle is not here. Hmm. So Pete Skurick, of course. Um, actually, he's, ooh, he's been going down a little bit. Jason Schmidt, he's been getting progressively better every year as well. Hmm. Uh, Greg Maddox, oh, well, Greg Maddox got elected to the All-Star at least, but he is... So there you go. You got one All Star. You're not going to make the next All Star, uh, but of course, you know with these, popularity is important. So, uh, Yorkis Perez for the Mets. Good job taking over for John Franco. Not an easy job to do. And Dennis Eckersley. It might be his very last All Star game. But yeah, you know, maybe he'll go out in style. Uh, Mike Piazza, who is now with St. Louis. 
Um, they traded him to St. Louis, which I don't understand, but, I mean, what the hell is there to understand? But <laughs> the guy hit 400 two years ago, and you're going to trade him. I get uh, Andrews Galarago in Mexico. All right, so he's doing really well in Mexico. Uh, where's your, where's Hawaii? We got to have one guy. There it is, Mike Lansing. So Mike Lansing is the Hawaii delegate. Uh, got Preston Wilson for Washington and Havana. Jeff Conine. Good. Okay, because every team has to be represented. Uh, so that's why Bubba, Bubba, Bubba Trammell here is for Detroit. What's the other crappy team we got? Um, Detroit's over in the in, in the west. It's Havana and um, I don't know. Not Texas. Texas is doing okay. But J.D. Drew's the only guy from Texas. Isn't that something? Even though they're one of the best home run hitters. Chipper Jones, of course, Atlanta, and Kevin Young. So the two best players in the <laughs> in the NL are both third basemen. I uh, got Jeff Kent in there. He's injured. Um, Jose Vidro. Barry Larkin, good. Another another one for Barry Larkin and Mike Wolf. So Mike Wolf is that surprise had a good year last year with Havana and Philadelphia. What how did they get him? Don't say okay. Waiver. See here he was one of those guys that were the waiver kind of bounce around. Jesus. Uh but oh yeah, okay. So they uh traded traded him for two High-risk prospects. And Philadelphia came out ahead of time because Mike Wolf has been phenomenal for the Phillies, at least. Uh, Makai Franklin, here's another guy. Uh, high strikeouts, but he nails 30 home runs a year. I think he hits a number of doubles, too, doesn't he? Eh, not great by any means. But... I mean, he does strike out quite a bit. 162 strikeouts in 95, 123, and now 71 here, which means he'll strike out 130 times. But it looks like he's going to, uh, no, he's going to walk the same clip. He's going to hit 37 home runs and get 33 doubles. So he's actually doing better. Now his average is going down, but his on-base percentage um, is going to be decent. And 900 OPS out of a second baseman, you can't complain. You can't complain out of that at all. Uh, Brad Fulmer, who was injured, is going to make it as well. And then Pedro Martinez. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's look at the screen again. Uh, Williams Heredia swap teams. Okay. Okay, so the Yankees are going to get Gil Heredia. Oh, so they got another... They got him as a relief pitcher. He's a starting pitcher. Put him in... You guys need starting pitchers. Why do you not have him as a starting pitcher? New York. You dummies. You're really keeping Mark Hunt. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Put Gil Her... <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. Put one of these guys in for Mark Hutton. Come on. He doesn't even have that big of a stamina. Son of a bitch. Uh, Norm Charlton goes from Hawaii to Cleveland. So that makes sense, right? Yes. No. Well, sort of. I mean, 10 games out. Okay. All right. So 10 games out. That kind of makes sense, I think. Uh, so Bug Lawrence, like a whole bunch of guys, trade from Cleveland. 
and a Norm Charlton. And then Tony Castillo goes to Boston. Again, Boston. Boston, what do you think you're doing? You're 11 and a half games out. Why are you getting a 34-year-old freaking pitcher, dude? And the Cubs get Troy O'Leary. I, it made sense for you to keep Troy O'Leary. It didn't make sense for you to trade Troy O'Leary for Tony Castillo. And that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. This doesn't make sense. Okay. Hey, pfft, hey that's all you. All right, so Dave Magadan goes from San Francisco, or goes from Houston to San Francisco. And again, San Francisco is out of it, too. And they look like they were doing some smart moves getting rid of older guys. But now, okay. But now they pick up Magadan for Jason Bates, which is a horrible trade because Jason Bates is only 26 years old. And he is... Uh, a hell of a freaking shortstop. He was probably one of their best players. Uh, Rex Hudler playing for Philly, 246 for. Okay. And so he's just gone. They released him, even though he didn't really suck. Okay, so Brian Gibbons goes from Hawaii. Um, he wasn't doing so great, but he goes to Texas. So he's going from a pitcher's park to a hitter's park. So he is going to be even worse than he was in Hawaii. And St. Louis. And Dean Palmer, a power hitter, goes from Texas to Hawaii where his power is going to die. <laughs> all righty. Um, and, uh, and so, all right, so Washington claimed Glenn Davis from Havana. And now Havana says, screw you, I'm going to grab Jose M. Martinez from you. Okay. All right. That doesn't make sense, though. Uh, so we're going to finish today and see what the see what the All Star Game did. There we go. Oh wow, this is something. So Albany Funk. Fulton County Stadium, um, four to two, which is pretty odd in the launching in the launching pad. So Griffey lost, but he got the okay. Let me see. Run scoring single. King Griffey went two for two with an RBI. So no one hit a home run. No, I got okay. So he got a triple, and he got a okay. So he got a triple, and he scored, and then he got an RB. Yeah, I could see it. I could see it. So because who else? These guys just kind of spread out. Mm, I would have gave it to. You got Griffey, and then you got. And then Mike Muscura, who's supposed to be so great, and he's the one that lost the damn game. <laughs> You're not that great, buddy. Uh, Mueller. I, I would have said Mueller because he's the one that actually, you know, had the go-ahead. And they never gave up the lead, right? Two for four with an RBI. Um... Or you give him Pete Skurick. I mean, Pete Skurick had one innings pitch and three strikeouts to end the game. You get the save. That would have been nice. He struck out the freaking side. Daryl Kyle. Daryl Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. You're my papa, Kyle. You're my big old... Okay, anyways, let's see. Going back to the home screen. 
We have Dan Romna hire to the Phillies. Who seemed to be okay. 312. I don't think he's a great guy, but. Mm. So Charlie Hayes. So Charlie Hayes is going to play first base for Hawaii. All right. I mean, I guess. It's not the transactional. Put on waivers. Nothing personal. Nothing's final. Uh, yeah, that's odd. Eiler injuries, okay. See how that goes. Play next week. So Portland doesn't look like they're losing any ground, even with their injuries. Uh, Los Angeles seems to be pulling ahead, but not def definitely. Um, Montreal, Pittsburgh, and the Mets are staying within striking distance. And Milwaukee's not falling too far behind. Uh, so Beville's gone. And he was doing okay for Kansas. No, he wasn't. Okay. So that's probably addition by subtraction. Phil Nevin for Houston. Rangers Pirates, okay. Rick Aguilar. Aguilar. So Pittsburgh's really get, trying to get a bullpen, isn't it? John Vanderwall goes, goes to Texas. Okay. Minnesota Toronto. Jimmy Powell, Leonardo Patino. Well, it looks like okay. So it looks like last year he was he got fourteen saves. So he's he looks like he's a good middle reliever. So the Blue Jays are. Mm -hmm. So that's a good smart trade by Minnesota. So Minnesota gets a, a two star prospect here for shortstop. And a three, a two and a half star for a, a relief pitcher. That looks like he's he's better than he's going to become. Uh, Jones, Andrew Jones, okay. Injury brings season to May. Daryl May, oh no. He is the. What, the long reliever? I think he's the long reliever. Uh, Kenny Lofton had a 32-game hitting streak. That's a bummer. David Wells is doing okay. Dwayne Ward was released. Wow. All right. That's the end of an error. Because I think Dwayne Ward's only played for Toronto. Nope. He played for Atlanta. Okay. But he's really a Blue Jay, and he had 45 saves in 93. Was injured in 94, came back, and just, he's never been the same. Poor guy. Cal Daniels was released. So Cal Daniels has been bouncing around, and he's gone. 33 years old. It just seems like the, all these 33-year-old guys are just gone. Okay. Let's see how how it shakes out at the trade deadline. Let's see who's going to get who. Come on, Hawaii, Mexico. Get rid of your freaking... Get rid of any talented player you have over the age of 30, for crying out loud. Get some prospects, will you? Uh, okay, so... No, Portland is... 
Oh, wow, the Dodgers are making, like, a push. But Portland's just not letting up. Um, so I think... But the Braves are kind of, like, stumbling a little bit. So Pittsburgh and Montreal can, can kind of come in to play. Uh, Toronto... I don't see... I don't know how Toronto isn't running away with it now. It looks like they're... As long as I stay like seven, eight games ahead of them, they'll be good. So I just see that it's going to be the NL East that's going to be a, a, a fight and the AL West. And it's only going to be between three teams. And this is where uh, like some of the baseball fans sit there and go, well, see, this is why you can't have it because people will lose interest. Well, this is baseball. It's a, it's a, baseball is a marathon. And there, there have been times when clubs have rolled off wins where they've come from like 10, 10 games back to win the division. And that's, that's a story. That's, but most teams stay within, you know, stay within 10 games. Like right here, the, this, the Milwaukee Brewers, this is kind of normal right here. And, and any team here could, in July, could overcome the Braves and, and win the division. It is not within, within the, um, outside the realm of possibility that the Cubs could come from 13 and a half games out in Jul at July and August, September overtake the Braves. It could happen. It could happen. Don't say it can't happen because it can happen. Uh, Toronto still now they're they're coming out ahead. Angels are staying ahead of the Astros. Seattle is not falling as far behind as I thought they would. Um, Havana has to do better. Hawaii has to do better. Washington is doing better. Um, and Portland's just that's it. Portland is really. Just too powerful for freaking anyone in that West right now. Um, and I don't see... Let me see here. Come on. This will be it. We got Derek Jeter leading in batting average by quite a bit, 389. Chipper Jones already had. Oh, Chipper Jones only hit. Chipper Jones only hit like two home runs this month, and Sammy Sosa hit four. And here comes Mike Wolf. Wow, what the? Okay. Okay. Kenny Lofton's got 41 stolen bases. Hello, Kenny Lofton. Ichiro, I thought Ichiro would be leading in stolen bases for the next 10 years. Uh, Louis Castillo. Paulo Sanchez. There you go. Secret weapon. All right. So that's something. All right. Um, let's look at... Let's just look at the... Uh, the news. We'll look at the newspaper. League newspaper. Go back. Go back. Go back. Alright, so Belleville. There we go. Jones. Trey Parrish. There we go. Good, good, good. Oh, so Greg Zong goes to Cleveland and he goes five for five. Good job. Uh, Dave Neeson batting three fourteen with seventeen home runs. He's actually a better catcher right now than Mike Piazza. No shit, huh? Uh, Pittsburgh Portland. Okay, so Pittsburgh Portland trying both teams trying to win uh, their division. Uh, again, Portland needs better catching, so they got Hasselman. And they also got uh, somebody else, right? Uh, and Joe Nunley goes to Pittsburgh. Hmm. 
I could see that. That's okay. So that two guys out of place. Let me see what Portland's got here. So Portland should have two good catchers now. Yep, Doug Mirabelli and Bill Hasselman. That works. Um, better than what they had before. And then Julio Franco is a good backup. Uh, Klapinski is now at third base. That works. Kotze. All right, so they got Colbrun here. Ooh, Colbrun's got four homers, 320, uh, batting 322 with 378 um, base percentage. In 23 game starts. Okay, so good. So they got him at first, and they're putting Kotze over here at right field. Marvin Bernard and Quivlo Veras now 16 out of 20. Where's Quivlo down here? Good. Good. And Bernard can, well, five. Ugh. Yeah, stop stealing bases, Bernard. You can't do it. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. All right, so Portland's just running away with everything. Orlando Hernandez, good. And they're, oh. Oil can boy got pushed to the bullpen for Mark Valdez, which is a smart move. And uh, hey, listen, as long as, as long as Oil Cam Boy gets two freaking, um, gets two uh, World Series titles, he, him and Lee Smith can just like retire out in the sunset. They they don't care. They'll be like, okay, we're good. We're good. We won. Uh, John Perkett and Bobby Witt. Jeez, Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt's another one that's been very consistent. Man, they got a nice one through four. And now, look at this guy. If Valdez is good, jeez. If he stays around there, like even like 3.8, that's going to be huge. That and their bullpen, doesn't matter. They just steal bases. They're like the Kansas City Royals when they won the World Series a couple, uh, when they went to the World Series twice a couple years back and they won it once. Um, okay, so Arthur Rhodes goes to the Mets. All right. Um, so he's a closer. So what that Perez guy must be hurt, and the Nationals get Brett Reeds. So the Nationals look like they're getting a. a, a a good number of players. Uh, Sir Saratoka was supposed to be one of the best pitchers in the league. That is not happening. Jeff Jenkins. Oof. Eight months. Medial collateral. Oh. He's batting 347 with 13 homers still. Jim Tomey's hurt. So Jim Tomey's hurt. Oh, just a foot contusion. So he was out for a while. 20 home runs. I can't be I can't believe that uh, Sid Fernandez in Hawaii, 451. Ross Herbert of the White Sox. Career ends for Derek May. Oh, this is the other Derek May. That sucks. And definitely with a concussion. Uh, believe me, I know what concussions can do to you. I've had a number of them. Poor guy. He was doing pretty good. He had a, he had a down year. Yeah, he was. He batted 310 with 20 home runs for Milwaukee. Goes to Texas, gets, gets a saw. So Tim Salmon is injured too. Looks like he will not be that consistent. And he probably won't get 140 games. Nope, 126 games it looks like he's projected to have. Ooh, and it looks like he's projected to go downhill, too. Oof. City. Los Angeles Angels. Benji Molina. Oh, my God. Todd Green was... He came out of nowhere in 95. Won all sorts of awards. Had a bad year last year, is having a bad year this year, and he's out. That's hey, that's what happens in baseball sometimes. You have one great year, and then pitchers figure out, I guess. Wow. So Benji Molina has taken over. Uh, 
Wow, wow, wow. Rika Bronya. Uh, Phil Plantier. I guess Rico's not as good as JT Snow was, but... Um, like most of these guys were not around when they won the World Series in 95. De Sarcina, of course, was. But De Sarcina had a career year in 95. Here, it's projected to only hit 28 freaking doubles. Uh, age of 29. It's finally going downhill. That sucks. Garrett Anderson cannot stay healthy, of course. Jim Edmonds cannot stay healthy. And it's Kevin Mitchell is going to be the right fielder now. Darren Ernstead's backing up almost everybody. I see how it is. And then you got Langston, Finley, Steve Avery. That's right. They got Avery from Atlanta last year. And Jared Washburn. Ooh, AJ Sager. Wow, they got a nice they got a nice staff. They got an and Quantrill. What a great trade. Yeah, he came over and he's doing pretty decent, I suppose. Greg Cattery. Kirk Ruder. Woody. Um the Aramis, Aramis Ramirez will be at third base. Jay Bell. Hey, Bell, how many years have you been with Pittsburgh? Jeez, since 1990. Uh, Bobby Higginson. What was this? Bobby Higginson, what'd you get? Ah, okay. So that's a trade. And then, of course, they got John Nunley. Hmm. Lou Collier. Oh, Friendly Lou. Yeah, Lou, Lou, Friendly Lou Collier. I, he was a, he was a, um, he was a player favorite because he would, uh, basically make food. I think he used to make pancakes. Um, all right, let's just, uh, let's just play till August and see how, see how this thing's going. All right, so. Portland, Portland is basically blown out the West. That's a shame. Uh, so Los Angeles. Uh, Cleveland's Asamaka calls it a career, suffers setback and retires. That's a bummer. That was one of my best stories was that this guy, Paul, uh, freaking Asamacher, who was just a middle reliever, a lefty middle reliever, became like the best closer in the league. Now he freaking suffers a setback and that's it. Red's Brewer ends career because of injury. That's not good. Uh, Astros, Astros and Mariners are still staying within striking distance of the Angels. Uh, it's all over for the East, I don't think. Baltimore's going to make a run. Uh, Philly. Oh, Philly did make a run. Milwaukee fell back, but Philly is now only eight games out. Uh, the Cardinals, yeah, the Padres are going downhill. Musina from the freaking Minnesota, who is 24 and a half games out, but whatever. So Jeter's batting 373. Juan Gonzalez has 36 home runs. Preston Wilson at Washington has 31. Okay. Kenny Lofton, 44 stolen bases. Jeter, 40. Nabla, 34. Okay. Larry Walker, batting 364. Chipper Jones, 362. Vlad Guerrero, 348. Chipper Jones has 49 homers. Hmm. 
you've got to hit 50, right? How the hell could you have that many home... There, there's 50 home runs for Chipper. How the hell could you have that many home runs and to just kind of like go through that big of a drought and where Mike Wolf of Philly just comes up and... Uh, 51... Uh, if he gets 55 by the end of August, I, I think he can actually try to beat 66 home runs. And he'd be a hell of a lot better ball player to break a record than uh, Dante Bichette. Not that Dante Bichette is bad by any means. I'm just saying. Chipper Jones is a Hall of Famer. And uh, one of the best of all time. Randy Johnson, 17 wins. Randy Johnson, 207 strikeouts. Percival has 39 saves. Wow, I didn't think I was going to get somebody that would have 40 saves, but it looks like he might have 50. Fifty-three homers for Chipper Jones. It is August twenty-fourth. Uh, Larry Walker, Chipper Jones, batting three seventy-three. Seth Green has thirty-seven doubles. Bobby Abreu, twelve triples. Jones has fifty-six homers. Sosa, forty-five. Um. Yeah, Chipper Jones, jeez, 120 runs, 127 RBIs. Castillo has 59 stolen bases. Edmonds, 87 walks. Fred Thomas has 83. Fred Thomas, 267. Uh, Frank, man, what the hell is going on here? Just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Uh, Jose Hernandez, 147 strikeouts. Jesus. Mike Wolf, 147 strikeouts. I don't know what to tell you on that one. All right, so that'll be it for now. I mean, uh, I mean, the pennant's almost over. I, I just basically finished the 21 games, but uh, I'm, I'm running long on this one. Just talking and talking and talking. Uh, yeah, we, we've had a couple of uh, unfortunate... Um, Paul Asimacher, who was probably the premier closer, career over. Um, I mean, he had, he might, he may come back. He may come back, but uh, no, pitching stats, career pitch. But, I mean, last year, 2.76. The year before, 3.09. It looked like he had a nice swing at the end of his career to be like like a really great freaking reliever. Um, like the best best closer in the league. And unfortunately, unfortunately, that did not work out. And uh, so, and then, oh, and you got a whole bunch of other players that are basically gone and chipper jones gets a 31 game hitting streak how much how much more can you do chipper just stop it all right thank you for joining me get out of my ballpark